the conclusion of the long sleeve top roundup from Love Notions is here. Stay tuned. Well, happy Friday. Today is the last day of the Love Notions sale which is 40% off site-wide except for Arlington. I wanted to bring you the final patterns that are left that are good for long sleeve tops and love notions and that is the group of woven ones, okay? But let me give you some details about love notions uh, giveaway and their birthday sale. All right, so today is the last day of the sale. So uh, if you haven't shopped yet, time to do that, all right? So it's 40% off site-wide except for the Arlington pattern which is a brand new release. You have had already four chances to enter and today will be the last chance. I will cut off the entries at 12 noon Eastern time. All right. So if you haven't entered by then, I'm sorry. At least maybe you could in the meantime go back and do it on some of the other ones. But uh, one entry per video. Let's start with the ballad. And I have not made this with sleeves yet, I'll be just honest. So I don't have them out to show you because they are in my summer clothes which are packed away. So I don't have them to hold up and show you. But the Ballad is a great pattern. I was on the testing team for that one. It was perfected over time and it took a lot of work on Tammy's part, but it is wonderful. So it has shirring or not. You can do the shirring or you can just do gathering at the shoulders. It comes in extra small to 5X, so it is updated with that new sizing. Has a button placket, which is functional. Okay, it buttons all the way down. As far as sleeves go, you can do it sleeveless. You can do it flutter, puff sleeve, bishop sleeve, or just a plain short sleeve. So it's really, really versatile in that way. There is optional shirring on the yoke, which is well worth the time. It's very, very uh, fun and easy to do. There are many videos out there on it. I have a video on the ballad on my channel you can check out as well. As far as fabrics go, I'm actually going to just say that these fabrics I'm about to say basically go for all of the patterns I'm going to talk about today. And that would be any lightweight woven fabric. Rayon Shelley polyester, any kind of chiffon that you want to make something sort of see-through you can wear over a cami or something. Any of those work really well with any of these patterns. A few of them also work really well like in cotton and in cotton lawn, um, but definitely rayon chalet is my favorite for these tops for sure. This rayon chalet is going to be a long sleeve ballad. Ran out of time this week so um, I'm going to make the yoke go this way and the stripes go this way. I think it's going to be a really pretty top. This is Rayon Chalet, very drapey and nice. It will be perfect for the ballad. The next pattern I want to talk about is the Lyric. I have not made the Lyric, but I have made the Dolce, which is the little girl's version. This comes in 0 to 32 for women, so it's pretty inclusive of style. It's a peplum. A knee length dress or a midi length dress. So you can do bishop sleeves, you can do um, flutter sleeves, short sleeves, um, sleeveless, a sleeve with a flounce, many many sleeve options with this one. As well the skirt can be either a sort of a flounced skirt or a gathered skirt so either one will, would work. It's your classic shirt dress but it has a little bit more of a v-neck and a tailored style to it. Great dress and a really cute peplum and it can be made long sleeves. I think that top would be so adorable in like a rayon chalet over uh, some pants for the winter time. So cute and practical because a peplum is maybe better than wearing a dress in this climate. When it's cold outside it's nice to have something cover your legs. So the next pattern is one that I love and have made. <laughs> I did a video on this one. This is the Presto tunic. I love this top. Wear it constantly. It um, has a inset panel and a placket. 
and this is a functional placket. So the sizing on Presto is going to be extra small to 3X. The sleeves can be short, long, or sleeveless. It is uh, wonderful. This is chiffon kind of that I, or Georgette, I guess maybe, that I made it up in. I love these colors. Beautiful, fun to make. A little more of a sewing challenge than some of those more basic things, but honestly, it's not hard at all. I did do a video on this pattern on my channel, and you can check that out. I'll put that in the, up here as well. Next, let's talk about Cadence. Cadence is a fantastic pattern. Uh, we did a sew along. Very first thing on my channel when I started it, we did a Cadence sew along. We did the sleeveless then because it was a basic sewing class, and the students weren't quite ready for sleeves yet, but most of those people are probably now and uh, you can make the cadence in a long sleeve it has a beautiful uh, sleeve option it can be sleeveless short sleeved has a three-quarter bishop or it can have like a flounce so really really cute cadence is a great fit it's a basic woven staple it's so worth the time to have that one fit you because it's one of those that you can hack in a multitude of ways the pattern comes in shirt length, knee length, or maxi. So there's so much to love about Cadence, I could go on and on. But, so I haven't made this one in long sleeves yet, but, but I would highly recommend that pattern um, in any sleeve length, for sure. It's definitely a staple you should have. And the last pattern I'm gonna talk about in this whole series is a favorite of many, many people, and that is the Rhapsody. So Rhapsody is a, a peasant type blouse, has ties at the neck, has gathering at the yoke, um, a V-neck, it's a pullover. Uh, you can do sleeveless, cap sleeves, flutter sleeves, short sleeves, and a bishop sleeve, I believe. So lots and lots of sleeve options. Comes in extra small to 5X. It can be either a blouse or a dress, and you can do casing at the waistline. So this is the Rhapsody in long sleeves. You can see um, it has a beautiful bishop sleeve. This is cotton, quilting cotton that I made this out of, or, or kind of a thicker cotton lawn, I guess. And it probably was not the best choice for this. It, I do like this, but I do think that the uh, pattern looks better in a little bit more drapey fabric. It does have this pleat on the back of the yoke as well. So really cute detail. And you can put little aglets on the ties if you want to, which I think are fun. So that's one of the Rhapsodies that I've made. Here's another that is done in chiffon. Much better drapiness with this fabric than that. That's what I mean. It just, um, I wouldn't suggest using quilting cotton for this um, pattern. But this one turned out really great. I wear this over a black cami. It has, you can see the pleat in the back and the ties super cute i love this one so that is rhapsody now circling back to the fabrics i said all those fabrics were good for pretty much this whole line of patterns except that there were a few that looked good with like quilting cotton or broadcloth or cotton lawn and the ones that do i think uh would be lyric and in some cases rhapsody depending on um, the thickness of it. I think that some cotton lawn would be fine. Um, quilting cotton would be a big no. Fabric wise, there's a lot of options out there for these beautiful patterns. So I hope that you enjoy that. Now I'm going to give you the final link to go and enter the contest. It is dorothysdaughter.info forward slash Rockford with a capital R. All right, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on the Dorothy's Daughter Facebook page. The link to the Facebook page is down in the description. I will be live spinning the wheel to see who wins the free pattern and the chance to win a sewing machine or serger. All right, have a great weekend. I'll see you soon. Happy sewing.